Read right now. Mystery Math, a first book of algebra by David A. Adler, illustrated by Edward Miller. If you've ever been on a seesaw, you know something about equations. You know something about algebra. A seesaw is like an equation. A seesaw must be balanced. An equation must be balanced too. Whatever is on one side should be balanced by whatever is on the other side. If a small pumpkin is placed on one side of a seesaw, someone or something small should be on the other side. If a large pumpkin is placed on one side, someone or something heavy should be on the other side. An equation is a sentence with an equal sign. An equation must be balanced. This is an equation. Four plus one equals three plus two. Each side of the equal sign adds up to five. The two sides are balanced. They're equal. Here are some more equations. Six plus two equals eight. Five minus one equals three plus one. Four plus one equals five. The two sides of each equation are balanced. They're equal. An algebra equation has an equal sign and an unknown, a mystery number. Here's an algebra equation: four plus x equals five. X represents the unknown, the mystery number. Since four plus x equals five is an equation, we know that whatever is on one side of the equal sign. Must be equal to whatever is on the other side. Four plus x equals five is an easy mystery to solve. Four plus what number would equal five? Four plus one equals five. In the equation four plus x equals five, the x, the unknown, the mystery number, is one. In the equation y plus one equals seven, y represents the unknown, the mystery number. What is the value of y? The value of y is six. In the equation three minus z equals one, what is the value of z? The value of z is two. The unknown or mystery number in algebra. Is also called the variable because the value of x, y, z, or whatever letter or symbol is used varies from one equation to the next. Once you know how to find the mystery number, the variable, in an algebra equation, you can use algebra to solve word problems. Sometimes you can just look at a word problem and know the answer. Sometimes you can just look at an algebra equation and know what the mystery number is, but sometimes you have to add, subtract, multiply, or divide to find the variable, the mystery number. The simple rule is: whatever is done to one side of the equal sign must be done to the other side. Addition can help you solve word problems and algebra equations. Mandy and Billy stopped by a large, creepy, haunted house. Lots of ravens were on the telephone wires beside the house. Call, call! The ravens called, and then one by one they flew away. I saw six birds fly away. Mandy told Billy. Then I counted thirteen birds still on the wires. How many birds were on the wires when Mandy and Billy first stopped by the creepy haunted house? 
Mandy and Billy's problem can be written as an algebra equation. Let R be the number of ravens on the wires when Mandy and Billy stopped by the house. R minus the six ravens that flew off equals the 13 ravens still on the wires. R minus six equals 13. To find the value of R, you want to get it alone on one side of the equal sign. What must you do to get R alone? You must eliminate the minus six. You can do that by adding six to each side of the equation. After adding six to each side of the equation, the new equation is r plus zero equals 19, or r equals 19. There were 19 ravens on the telephone wires when Mandy and Billy first stopped by the house. Subtraction can help you solve word problems and algebra equations. Igor is the caretaker of the haunted house. He told Mandy and Billy, There were bats flying around in here before I started my lunch. Then, while I ate my lunch, I saw 12 more bats fly in. Now, there are 27 in the house. How many were in the house before lunch? The caretaker's problem can be written as an algebra equation. Let y be the number of bats in the haunted house before lunch. y plus the 12 bats that went in at lunchtime equals the 27 bats in there now. y plus 12 equals 27. To find the value of y, you want to get it alone on one side of the equal sign. What must you do to get y alone? You must eliminate the plus 12. You can do that by subtracting 12 from each side of the equation. After subtracting each side of the equation by 12, the new equation is y plus 0 equals 15. Or y equals 15. Before lunch, there were 15 bats in the haunted house. Multiplication can help you solve word problems and algebra equations. Yikes, Billy said when he and Mandy left the house. I'm glad to get out of there. Skeletons were everywhere, Mandy asked Igor. How many skeletons are in the house? <laughs> I won't tell you, <laughs> Igor said and laughed. But I'll give you an algebra problem. Solve the problem and you'll know how many skeletons there are. Billy took a pencil and notebook from his backpack. Take our mystery number, the number of skeletons in the house, and divide that by four the number of rooms in the house, and you'll get five, the number of skeletons in each room. Here's what Billy wrote. Z over four equals five. Z is the number of skeletons in the haunted house. Four is the number of rooms in the house. Five is the number of skeletons in each room. In the equation, z over 4 equals 5. z over 4 means that z is divided by 4. To find the value of z, you want to get it alone on one side of the equal sign. You can do that by multiplying each side of the equation by 4. z divided by 4 multiplied by 4 equals 5 multiplied by 4. Z multiplied by 4 is 4Z. So, after multiplying each side of the equation by 4, the new equation is 1Z equals 20, or Z equals 20. There are 20 skeletons in the house. 
Division can help you solve word problems and algebra equations. Igor told Mandy and Billy, I have a black cat, and my cat had kittens. I won't tell you how many kittens I have, but I will tell you that the kittens have 28 legs in total. How many kittens does Igor have? Let K be the number of kittens. Since each kitten has four legs, four multiplied by K equals 28. 4K equals 28. The equation 4K equals 28 means 4 multiplied by K equals 28. To find the value of K, you want to get it alone on one side of the equal sign. You can do that by dividing each side of the equation by 4. 4 multiplied by K divided by 4 equals 28 divided by 4. After dividing each side of the equation by 4, the new equation is 1K equals 7, or K equals 7. Igor's cat had 7 kittens. You already know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Now you know how that helps you with algebra. Solving mysteries is fun. Algebra helps you solve math mysteries. If you liked this video and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. See you next time on Read Right Now.